In the next question, it says uh, set A is given and R be the relation defined by A, defined on A. That means we have we have the domain and the range both belongings to set A, and R being an ordered pair where A B, as I said, belongs to A only, and the relation definition is A divides B. So what we know that one divides one. One can divide two, one divides three, it's like two divides two. Let me write it down. Say if I write it, this would be the ordered pair here, right? As you can see, one divides one, one divides two, one divides th six, two divides two, two divides four, and two divides six. But then we have to find what? The range. And how do we get the range here? The range is the set of the second element. So the range in this case is going to be this only so if i see range is the set of second elements i think it's easy to figure out what is the range over here that is one two and six and this again same two six six so that is one two six is the range and this is the correct option in this case in this next question it says r the relation r well don't get confused here r is not a real number here it's a relation which is defined on set Z, Z implies for the set of integer, well, that's written over here also, Z of integers, and the ordered pair AB that belongs to R, the definition is A square plus B square is equal to 25. Well, in this case, uh, questions like this, I believe we can do using hit and trial method. We'll just need to think of two such numbers, the sum of whose square, and not number, in fact, integer, the sum of whose square is 25 so i'll go for first zero i start with the smallest number as x zero and five but then since it is an integer even zero minus five will work because zero square is zero minus five square is 25 and their sum is 25 then uh, we have pythagorean triplet right that is three four and five so three four right three square plus four square three square is nine four square is 16 their sum is 25 but then as as I said, it's an integer, so even minus 3, 4 will also satisfy this relation. Minus 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 16 and so is 3 minus 4. Are there more? Okay, since it's an ordered pair, we can even shuffle the order, right? Even shuffling the order because here uh, both, both domain and range belongs to Z. So even 5, 0 then minus 5, 0, and 4, 3, swapping and not shuffling, I mean, minus 4, 3. So these are, uh, but then what we have to find out is domain here, and domain is what, the set of first element. So I can see from here that is 0, 3, minus 3, 5, minus 5, 4, minus 4. Well, this is what the correct answer in this case. In the next, the, in the next question, as you can see, uh, same set is taken here, same arrow diagram, but then we have to tell the set builder form of this. Well, what we can figure out from this that uh, these elements, like the elements of the first set that is P here, I can see it is a square of the second. How did I get to know? As you can see, 9 is the square of 5 and minus 5. Likewise, you can check for the other. 4 is the square of 2 and minus 2. And finally, we have minus 25 as the square of, okay. In this question, as you can see, we are given an arrow diagram from the set P to Q. And then we have to figure out which of the following are the relations. The relation are in the roster form. So what you can see, 9 is related with minus 3 and 9 with 3. So 9, 3 and 9 minus 3 is over here. Then 4, 2 and 4 minus 2, 4, 2 and 4 minus 2 is here. And then 5, 20, 25, 5 and 25 minus 5 and 25. So this is the correct option that you see. It's very easy to figure out in this case. This is the next question. In this question, it said, given set A is this, set B is this, and the question is, which of the following are relations from A to B? And the options are this. So what we are going to do here, let's say, if I, what we know about uh, the relation, that relation is a subset of A cross B. 
So let's figure out what is A cross B over here. If I ask you what is A cross B, then you are going to write this, I suppose, right? A being this, B being this, then their cross will be this. Now, as I said, A cross B has to be a subset of, sorry, relation has to be a subset of A cross B. Now check for the first option. I need to figure out is 152738 present. So 1527 and 38. Yes, it is present over here. So we'll say that, yes, it is a relation. But then we have to discard others for the reason this is 5237 and 47. 52 is not there, right? 37, 37, 37 is there. 4, 7 is there, but then we don't check for all of them. Even if the one of the elements of the relation is not present or one of the ordered pair is not present in the A cross B, we say it's not a subset. So this uh, should be again for the same reason, 6, 2, I can see there is no 6, 2 over here. And that's why we say that this is not a relation. That is, we need to check the correct and the correct will be R1. In this video, we'll do MCQ questions from the chapter relation. Now let's begin with the first question. In this question, it says N of A, that is the set A has uh, M number of elements, B has N number of elements, then the total number of non-empty, total number of non-empty relation that can be framed from A to B. So what we know that in order to find the number of elements, uh, first, I'll say what is the number of elements in A cross B. So it is what? It should be 2 raised to the power. Or if I just talk about just the number of elements in A cross B, it is what? N of A multiplied by N of B. So what is uh, N of A here? M. So this is M and number of elements in set A. So it is MN is the number of elements. But then we have to find out the number of non-empty relation. We know that relation is nothing but a subset of A cross B. So if A cross B has this much element, then the number of subset will be what? 2 raised to the power MN. I'm just talking about the number of subset. But then number of subsets and number of relations are same. So we should say this. But we have to find non-empty relation. As you know, in every subset, there is an empty set. So excluding this, right? So we'll say that in that case, the correct option is going to be what? The D is the correct option in this case. The next question is that, uh, is, this is this relation a function? As you can see, an ordered pair is given and we have to find whether this is a relation or not. So what we know that uh, a f relation is a function if each set of each element in the domain has one and only one image in the codomain. Well, the arrow diagram is not necessary. I'm still making it. I'm taking domain from the, that is, first set of element, five, six, and seven. And the codomain I can see from here, the second set of element is three, two, one, zero, and seven. So you can see from the diagram that the one, three is related with three only. 4 is related with 2, 5 with 1, and 6 with 0, and 7 with 7 only. What you can see that each element in the domain has one and only one image in the codomain. There is nothing like uh, 3 is also related with 2 as well as 3, or maybe 4 related with uh, 2 as well as 1. So I'll say that uh, in this case, it is a function as... Each element in the domain has one and only one image in the codomain. But then you may also add the other definition that in this function, it is a function because not other definition, other reason. The first element of each ordered pair is different. And that's why we call them as a function. In this question, we can see that a set A is given, set B is given, and R be the relation defined from A to B. R, which is an ordered pair where the X belongs to, X belongs to set A and Y belongs to set B. And the relation is such that Y is square of X. So what you can see, one is from here, right? What we can see from here that one is square of one, four is square of two, nine is square of three, 16 square of four, right? 
So this is what the relation here. And then we have to find its, what do we have to find else is its codomain, uh, domain and codomain. So let's check. The relation which we have understood over here are this only. That is the relation is 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9 and 4. The reason is y is the square. That is the second element should be the square of the first. 4 being the square of 2, 3 being the square of 9 being the square of 3 and 4. 16 being the square of 4. And then what we have to find the domain. Clearly domain is the set of first element which is 1, 2, 3. So it is what? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Right. Is the domain here. And the codomain is what? Codomain is always the second set. The whole of the second set is called codomain. So if I write the codomain, it's going to be 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. Right. This should be our codomain. So when I look into the option over, over here, well, don't get confused. Uh, domain with uh, codomain with the range. The range will be only this, the image formed. This is the range and codomain is the whole set two. So when I look into the option here, yeah, this is the correct one, four, nine, sixteen, twenty-five. This is the correct answer in this. In this question, we have to check whether R, which is a relation from uh, R minus three, all real number except for three, to R, and the definition of f x is this, and g being relation from R to R and G is X plus three. Now we need to figure out in this case, is the domain of FX and QX are equal or not? Now check in the first, if I check the FX one only, FX, you can see it is a rational function, right? In the form of PX by QX say, where Q you can say that Q here is X minus three and you know that Q should not be zero. That means X should not be zero. So we can say that domain here for this function clearly has all real number except for, sorry, except for three, right, over here. Now for this GX, you can see it's a linear function and it's a polynomial function. And you can see over here that X can take any real value. So in this case, the domain belongs to R, the domain here, the domain in this case belongs to R, but the domain here belongs to here in this case, the domain is all real number except for three, R minus three, except for three. So we can figure out the domain of both functions are not equal. In this question, we have to find the range of this function and the options, this range of this, and these are the options given here. So I'll begin with uh, writing cos, well, let's say if I begin with writing, Say minus cos x. What we know that the range of this, right, for cos function, it is minus 1 to 1. It's both for 1 as well as uh, both for cos x and minus cos x. Now check, we need uh, 2 over here. So we'll be multiplying 2 on both sides. So it's minus 2 cos x. And multiplying what? 2 over here, right? not minus 2. Multiplying 2 on both sides. Uh, we got till here. We got this here. And then we have to subtract this from 1, right? Step by step, I'm obtaining this. So 1 minus 2, and here also 1 minus 2 cos x, right? Uh, actually, I'm adding 1 on both sides, right? It's not subtracting. Adding 1 on both sides. So it's going to be what? 3 here. Adding 1. Should I show it? Yeah. So it comes out to be what? Minus 1 and 1 minus 2 cos x and this is 1 plus 2 which is 3. Now check we have to get we got this we got till here and then we have to get the reciprocal of this. Now on reciprocating you know the inequality remains same so if I reciprocate on the left hand side what is the reciprocal of minus 1 it is minus 1 only and reciprocating this side it is 1 minus cos 2x and reciprocating this, it is what? 1 over 3. So check, it is coming from minus 1 inclusive to 1 over 3. So if I look into the option here, minus 1. So this comes out to be correct here, right? That is minus 1 to 1 over 3. Now this is a very 
uh, important question where we have to find the domain. But then let's first understand what do we define a uh, domain of an under root function. Well, if I take fx is equal to under root x, what you should know that all those values of x for which the function is defined is called domain. Here you can figure out that x cannot take any neg negative value. As you know that under root minus 2 is not real. This is not real. So that means whatever that inside this under root should be positive. In our case, it is a square minus x square. So a square minus x square. So as I said, whatever the inside the root has to be, has to be either zero or greater than equal to zero. The algorithm involved in this case is to factorize this. So I'll factorize this greater than equal to zero. Now equating this with zero, what I'll get? x is equal to a and equating this with zero, I'll get x is equal to minus a. So you should say that the domain in this case will be what minus a to a. Now, why did I say so? Because if you place any number, say consider a, consider a to be any integer, say three only. Now, if I uh, say it is three, then it is minus three to three. You plug in any value which is greater than minus three, say if I place, say if I place uh, x as minus four, a domain is always x here. So if I place minus four, what you are going to get? You can check it is coming negative. And if I take anything which is beyond three, uh, beyond a, that is beyond three, it is again giving negative. But if you keep a number anywhere between minus a to a, you should get a positive value, either zero or positive. That's why I use this bracket that is inclusive. inclusive. So I can see the option over here is this, that is option B is correct in this case. In this question, I can see there are three relation given R1 and R, R1, R2 and R3. Relation R1 being this, R2 being this and R3 being this. Now, what is the question over here is then we have to figure out which of these relations are function. So what we know that a relation becomes a relation is a function if each element in the domain has one and only one image in the codomain. Or you may say that if the in the ordered pair, if the first element does not repeat. Now check for the first one. Two has only one image, three has one image, and four is has only one image. That is a unique image. So we'll consider we'll say that this relation is a function. For the second, two has one image, but two has another. So we'll say that this is a not a function, reason being the element two in the domain has two different images that is two and four in the codomain. So therefore this relation is not a function. Well, it's a relation, but not a function. Now, if I check for the third one, you can say one has unique image, two has only one. As you can see, two is further not repeated over here. Two as a first element in the ordered pair. Three, as you can see, that is not further repeated, only one image, four. Four is related with five, further four is not repeated as a first element in the ordered pair, five with six and six with seven. So even this is a function, this is a function, this is not a function. So when I look into the func options, we have to, ch to choose for R1 and R3. Yeah, this one, R1 and R3 are function here.